Bless the name of the Lord Jesus. I am Apostle Michael Davis, Jr., the senior pastor of the New Testament Believers Fellowship Church. Coming to you live and direct again. It is the day in the Passover as to which the Lord Yahshua Hamasiak was taken on trial and beaten and later crucified. So uh, as we go on here today, I have uh, seen uh, and received news that many of the old generals, leaders that we know of in the Church of God in Christ have uh, passed on. Uh, one in particular, uh, Bishop Philip Aquila Brooks, who's been a, a general board member for uh, such a long time. And, and he was actually the first, uh, the first chief adjutant to Bishop J. O. Patterson Sr. has passed on. And we pray for his family and we pray for uh, Bishop T.T. T. Scott's family there in northern Mississippi. Uh, my grandfather, the, the late apostle Cleophas Hall Sr., was a friend of his uh, years ago, and he used to go to Mississippi and preach revivals down in northern Mississippi for Bishop T.T. T. Scott. So uh, we pray for the Scott family, and we pray for uh, uh, the Brooks family there in Detroit. Well, what I wanted to talk to you about on today is play it safe in this time of the plague. As the plague goes on, be wise as serpents and harmless as doves and only go out only if you have to for the essential things, such as if you have to go get groceries, food and stuff for your family and all of that other stuff. Or if you have one of those essential jobs as to where you have to go out and do your job, you have to meet people. But when you do meet people, make sure you wear one of these and you wear gloves to protect yourself. Well, tell you people of God, this day is so important. It speaks prophetically again as they spoke about the Lord Yahshua Hamasiak in the Psalm, Psalm 22. They spoke uh, prophetically about him in Isaiah 53. They spoke about him in the uh, first address, uh, book of address, and they spoke about him in Ezekiel, and they spoke about him in Isaiah. They spoke about the Lord all through the book. But at this time, or as to what we are going through now, the Apostle Peter on his sermon, where he spoke and said, have you have received the Holy Ghost since you first believed. He said, repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remissions of your sins and you'll receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. So I want you to understand people. The Holy Ghost is for everyone. For everyone, as many as we will, he will call. That is what the Spirit of God is for everybody. Because the Bible says that the Holy Ghost will lead you and guide you through all truth. So understand, people of God, that God loves you and he wants the best for you. <clears throat> and he wants to commune with you and live in you. And how does he do that? Through his spirit. So have you received the Holy Ghost since you first believed? So one of the things that I am expecting when we come out of this plague, after we have came out uh, from being isolated and having the blood stain on our doorpost, not, not just literally, I mean, we put blessed oil on our doors and stuff like that during Passover. Uh, 
but also even in your heart that you're covered under the blood of Jesus Christ. But I'm, I urge you, saints of God, what I expect and what other uh, pastors out there expect to see, those that are really in tune with God, what they expect to see after we come out of this isolation of this plague, we expect to see that the church will be filled and people will come running saying, what must I do to be saved? And the people repenting and wanting to receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost because this plague, this coronavirus will bring forth a great revival. And I'm prophesying right now. Hallelujah to God. Bless his holy name. The Spirit of God says that it'll bring a great revival right now. After this is over, this plague passes over, the body of Christ will expand. People that didn't believe in the Lord Yeshua Hamasiah will believe and know and understand that there is a God. So people of God, don't underestimate the day of small things. To some of you out there, this may seem to be a small thing that, oh, my family is protected. My family, uh, there's nothing going on with my family. But I want you to understand in God's providence, in his infinite mercy, it can still touch your family, too. So I almost thought that myself. But then in within my family, on my wife's side and then on my side, a total of about seven people had got the coronavirus. But I understand those people in my family are recovering. They're going to have the testimony of saying that God did it. That God healed me. Because we talk to them uh, via the internet or on Marco Polo social media. And they are doing well. And we're seeing the healing power of God. I want to tell you, God is real, but what I'm expecting is going to happen. People are going to run and say, what must I do to be saved? And what do you have to do to be saved? You must repent of your sins and be baptized. And the Lord will give you the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Everything that you're dealing with, the, the hurts and the pains of the past, things that you need to be delivered from it's all encompassing with the Lord Yahuwah all you have to do is call upon his name because the Bible says that if you call upon the name of the Lord you shall be saved and what does that mean when you say you want to be saved you'll be delivered from your sins what God does to your sins he puts your sins of in the sea of forgetfulness and does not remember him. And it clarifies it in Isaiah. And he said, I am even he that blots out your transgressions. And for my own sake, will I not remember your sin? Praise God. Understand people, God is a spirit and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. And how do you learn to worship God in spirit and in truth? You become a worshiper. You, you commit your life. You commit your way unto the Lord and be saved. Get saved. Sanctify yourself holy because the God of peace shall sanctify you. Holy. W-H-O-L-L-Y. See, God, when God does something, he don't do it halfway. God does it all the way. He, he, he sees you uh, as the finished product. You may still be in the shape or the state of uh, being refined, but how God sees you, he sees you as the finished product as to where he can see his reflection in you. What did it say in Job 23 and 10? It said, for he knows the way that I take, but when he has tried me, I shall come forth as gold. And what does God want to see? What does the refiner wants to see when they take the, the goldsmith? What does he want to see after he has refined the gold and has cooled it off? What do they do? They take the rag and they polish it until they can see their reflection. So once you're finished with the crucibles and going through the fire, 
Don't be like the non-lepers that didn't come back and tell the Lord, thank you, after they were healed, but come back and tell God, thank you, that he protected you. Thank you that he healed your body. Thank you that he kept your mind sober because many people right now that are in isolation are depressed and some are even suicidal. But I pray for your mind right now that the devil can't get your mind because that will keep you in perfect peace for whose mind is stayed on me. Oh, yes, God bless his holy name. I got a little lint uh, from that mask or actually, no, that's gray hair. <laughs> that's gray hair in my beard. Hallelujah. God will keep your mind. But do you want to be kept? He'll keep you if you want to be kept. That's all I wanted to say, people of God. That expect the great after this plague is over. Expect people to run and say what must they do to be saved and to receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost because the Holy Ghost is for everyone. Everyone that believes in whom he will call. As far off as your children, your grandchildren, and your great-grandchildren, and as many others, God will call those his to be saved and to receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost. I love you, people of God. Please like, subscribe, and share this video all over the place. We bless you, and may the Lord keep you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ.